This is an optimal control problem that we're going to solve with Gecko. We have our objective function that we're going to minimize, and it has an integral between 0 and time 2. We're going to minimize the value of x1 squared, and then multiply it by 1 half. We'll do that by adjusting the value of u. The value of u is equal to the slope of x1, and that slope can be between negative 1 and 1. We initially start at x1 at time 0 equals 1. And we can't put integrals directly into Gecko, so we'll reformulate it a little bit. Here's an equivalent form here on the right, where we're going to create a new variable x2 and just replace our objective function with that, and then differentiate that and put it down there in the equations. So it's an equivalent form. We'll put this into Gecko and solve it. Okay, so what you need to do first of all, if you don't have Gecko, is just do pip install Gecko. Okay, and if you run that, then um, if you already have it, it'll say it's already satisfied, or you can upgrade it as well. Okay, so there is Gecko. Uh, the very first thing we'll need to do is uh, from Gecko import Gecko and then also import NumPy. We'll import matplotlib and don't forget the percent matplotlib inline for the Python notebook. Next we'll create our Gecko model. I'll say that we have 101 time points between 0 and 2. So we'll create uh, linearly spaced values between 0 and 2 using the NumPy linspace function and we'll assign that to m.time. Next we'll create a value. This is going to be our x1 equals to 1. So here on the right, this is the equivalent form that we're solving. Let me just make this a little bit bigger as we go through it. Okay, next we'll have x2. That's going to be our integral objective. It'll start at a value of 0. Okay, and then we'll have our value u. It's going to be initially equal to 0, and lower bound is negative 1, and upper bound is 1. Okay, and then we'll define a p-value. This is going to be zeros everywhere, and at the very end it's going to be equal to negative 1. When you do p negative 1, that means go to the end of the array and set that equal to 1. Next, we'll initialize a final parameter. It's going to be zeros everywhere except for one at the very end. And that's so we can just minimize the final time. Right there, the final is going to be multiplied by x2, just to be able to give us our objective right at the end. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, we've got equation one. Here's our first differential equation that you see on the left there, dx1 dt equals u. Use the dot dt open and close parentheses. And there's the second equation. This is our objective. Then we have our objective uh, function, which is x2 times final. Final is going to be 0 everywhere except for 1 at the very end. And then we switch to i mode 6. i mode 6 is dynamic optimization or control. And then we'll solve it and not displaying the solver output. Then we'll create a figure. I'll make one subplot with x1 and x2 and then I'll include the legend. And here's our, I'll just label those as CV. And then we'll do our second subplot with a u value and a legend. Okay, also save that figure. Uh, we'll save it with dot print 1200, so very high resolution, and do transparent equals true if we want to import it somewhere. Okay, so when I save this, or run it, it's going to come up with uh, this figure. Okay, so there's the optimal control problem that's solved. The value of x1 got as quickly as it could to 0 and then stayed at 0. U is the slope of x1, so it went to negative 1 and then to zero from time one on. This is a solution to this simple optimal control problem that we set up and solved with Gecko. There are a number of different problems that we're solving with this tutorial. 
This one is number 11 on the list. I'll also show you number 12 and 13. Uh, those are going to be coming up next in the playlist. So if you just go to number 12, uh, here is an economic optimal control problem. Very similar to one we had before, but it's just a little bit more complicated. We have a fish population dynamics, and uh, you're going to be maximizing the profit. So if you want to maximize, you just put a negative sign in front of anything that's minimized, uh, and it'll maximize it. Okay, and there is the optimal solution for that one. And then up next is going to be the number 13, minimizing the final time. Okay, and again, the script is available there. If you'd like to download these scripts, you can go to, just search for AP Monitor Gecko, and it should be one of the first links there. And then these are the 18 example applications. The source code for this one that I just showed you is right here. Just click the Git code to remove some of the formatting. It'll show it to you in raw format that you can copy in. Okay, and then you also have the other ones right here, the 12 and 13. So these are all optimal control problems that you can set up and solve with Gecko.